welcome to the Life to Have vlog for March 19th, 2020. Um, just more thoughts on um, some of the things that might be affecting you um, if you had uh, COVID-19 and forced uh, working from home. Um, now, I, I have been working at home for at least the last six to seven years um, and um, came up with a couple suggestions i got like a top kind of a top five top five list um and uh these are kind of the top my top five tips for for working from home uh the number one uh or actually number five on my list is take breaks you know it's kind of what i'm doing right now is i'm taking a short break to record this video uh so i can I'll record b-roll for this video later but uh, I'm recording this portion right now as I break. And it's important to take breaks to, to you're not completely focused on work all the time. Uh, and uh, just to help your, your brain rest between uh, things, you know, like right after a meeting or a, or a, a long phone call, whatever. Uh, those are kinds of things that are important. When I take a lunch break, I usually try not to take it in here in my in my home office. So, um, so number f number four, make rules for family. Now, when I started this, this was one of the harder things, and I had to actually sit down and have a conversation with my family and let them know that, you know, if I have like uh, my headphones on or if I have uh, you know, if I'm looking towards my screen. Even if, it, if they knock the door and then open the door, because I usually don't lock my door. Uh, but um, those things um, are usually clear indicators that I'm busy and I can't talk right now. Um, so that's number four. Number three, create dedicated work hours. It's also kind of important too. They know usually in the, uh, kind of plays into number four. But when you have dedicated work hours, when you know that you work from X period, X time in the morning to X time in the evening, that are those are your work hours and those are the, the hours that you work in. Yes, you have the flexibility when you're working from home that you can work past those hours or you can start early if you have to. But um, in many cases, uh, that's not needed. Most cases, it's not needed. So... Um, that's number three. Number two, I already mentioned it earlier. Have a door. <laughs> when I first had my uh, my office established, I, I did this downstairs, um, and uh, it was a big open room, uh, a great room, I guess, if you want to call it that. Uh, and uh, it was really easy for them to to bug me. Uh, now I have a door. Uh, I moved upstairs. I got into one of the bedrooms, and I have a door. When I'm working, it's closed uh, all the time, uh, and uh, they have to knock before they enter. So, uh, and then number one part of that also plays into number two, is create a space. Uh, have a dedicated space. Don't work from your bed. Don't work from from your living room. Don't work from more common areas unless you have to. You know, sometimes you might have to, uh, but uh, create a dedicated space that, that's yours and no, yours alone, uh, and um, nobody's allowed in the space except for you. And that's kind of what my home office is in here. Uh, my family does come in here from time to time, but most often, uh, not unless I'm in here. So, anyway, I, I know this has been a hard time for everyone. Um, it's been even hard for me, even though I work from home all the time. Uh, but you know, in the evening, usually one of the things I want to do is I want to go over to the gym and I can't go do that. So like today, I'm going to probably, uh, go for another walk today. Um, actually, no, actually not just that. Um, I may go for a walk later this evening, like, uh, after I, I have one place I need to go, I'm going to have a short meeting with a friend, um, who, and they're trying to help them, uh, set up services, uh, or at least kind of talk with him and figure out uh some sort of streaming uh, that they need to do uh because nowadays uh 
they're streaming to uh, you know the various services stream to Facebook and whatnot um, for church services because we can't meet in person. It's kind of something uh, that I would suggest uh, most churches do, even if there isn't a pandemic. Think about uh, what pe- kind of people can use those services to view your service, uh, no matter whether the the uh, sanctuary is packed full of people or not. So that's that's a, a really great thing to do. So anyway. This has been Life on Hollow Vlog for March 19th, 2020. Um, Hopefully uh, you are doing well and are staying safe and not getting sick. So take care, everyone, and God bless.